hey guys welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in thank you for coming by today i am going to do the needle and thread flat twist look alike on my hair i know you guys have been waiting for it for quite a while <laughs> i haven't tried it before so this is kind of my first time to do it on my hair i always do it on other people's hair wish me luck and thank you so much for tuning in if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of the videos that i post on this channel otherwise let's get right into this tutorial <laughs> first i'm applying the nashi organics hair growth scalp balm to my scalp to combat dryness and dandruff i'm going to do big sections four to be precise so i will not have much access to my scalp that is why i'm applying the scalp balm before doing my hair this is how i section my hair First in the middle, then section each half again to make them four sections in total. I like doing curved sections when plating. That way, there is not too much pressure for each section to look exactly the same because they all curve differently. And curved sections just look nice even on a head that is shaped like mine. <laughs> to make my parts neat, I'm using jabu stone as usual. I know my parts are not the neatest, especially at the back, but I tried you guys, so please bear with me. I am putting a little bit more gel when I start the flat twist. Place the other end of the yarn in the middle of the section and then start the flat twist. The needle and yarn or thread flat twist whichever you prefer to call it is the easier of the two needle hairstyles that I know I have done the cornrows look alike only half the head though because of my sectioning challenges at the back of my head if you have not watched it I have linked it down below and also on the top of this video the technique requires inserting the needle under the section of hair while holding the hair down from one side of the section and taking it out on the opposite side and pulling the attached thread right through it. Then inserting the needle again from that same side that you inserted from at first and repeating the whole process. The thread then holds the hair down. Of course, back in the day when I used to do this hairstyle on friends and family, I didn't know about flat twist at all, so we didn't call it that. The style name was more descriptive and often done on smaller sections and mainly if your hair was too short to do the cornrows look like. I can't even remember what we call this needle and thread style variation though, like the flat twist look alike. Because there was no flat twist then, I didn't even know about it. And uh, it's only now that I'm calling it the flat twist lookalike. But if you guys remember what we used to call it, please comment below and let us know what we used to call it or what you call it in your own language besides the flat twist lookalike. To finish off this section, I wrapped the yarn around my hair the African threading way. My biggest challenge was where to put the hand that was holding the hair, like how to hold the hair down. <laughs> It was quite hectic. You will see like the first row that I did was more hectic than the other ones. But once I figured that I could change how I hold the hair as I went along each section, like in the front, I would hold it another way. And then in the middle and at the back, I could hold it in a different way. I was fine. And then came the spacing of the thread, especially at the back. Yeah, that was something. I had to use my finger for spacing. I'm not sure it would help that much though, but yeah, that's what I ended up doing. I am so grateful you guys for the support that you've shown this channel. 
You have no idea how much it means to me. I am so excited to bring the play button to South Africa this year, but that needs your help. Subscribe, like, and comment on my videos, share my videos so that more and more people can watch my content. I will appreciate it so, so much. I already appreciate you guys. You have no idea what you have done to my channel, to my life, to like, a lot of things have changed because of the support so thank you so much but don't forget to share my content to comment on my videos to like my videos if you're not subscribed to subscribe so that i can actually reach this milestone if there's any video or any type of content that you would like me to share please comment below and tell me about it so that i can schedule it for you i look forward to engaging with you in the comments so let's make it a conversation I also joined those two strands of African threading together so that they can be easier to tuck it. Cut off the excess yarn and then tuck them in into each other, like so. That's it. <laughs> I did some basic makeup, some earrings, and some clip-on beads just to spice it up a bit. What do you think? Hmm, but these earrings are not cutting it. I think I need some color, and the lip too needs some color. What do you think? Do you like the plainer look or this colorful one? Let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching. If you're not subscribed and you find my content helpful, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss anything that I post on this channel. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. God bless you. Bye.